welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well today. So now that it is September, I thought it was time for me to go over all of my summer sewing projects that I've made this year, and I'm really excited to share them all with you guys. I know most of these have their own individual videos on my channel, which you may have seen before. One of them doesn't, but I will have all of those videos linked down below in case you would like a little more detail about each individual project. I'm really happy with all of the pieces that I've been able to add to my wardrobe this summer. I think they're all just really fun, and they were great sewing projects. I learned something on all of them, so I hope you guys will enjoy seeing them all compiled together here and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So this summer I've been getting really into using vintage sewing patterns and one of the ones I worked with this summer was a vintage 1950s blouse pattern and I used that pattern to make this blouse here which is made from this beautiful cream and purple floral rayon chalet. It has a really nice drape. I don't know if that really comes up on camera but it's such a nice soft fabric and I really love how this piece turned out. My goal with this was to make a piece that would dress up a pair of jeans and I think it's perfect for that. I love the waist tie detailing on this as well as the little sleeve ruching. I think it's so pretty. So this is definitely a good versatile piece to have in my closet. These next three pieces are all made from a vintage pattern and they all coordinate. So these are from a little 1960s pattern that I had in my collection and it is for a tank top, shorts, and skirt set. So I made all of them out of this beautiful floral linen. I'm not sure how well this comes up on camera because it is really light colored, but I absolutely love this fabric. This is from an Etsy shop called Merely Susan, which I've talked about several times on my channel this summer. I will link to her shop down below. She does the most beautiful illustrations and I absolutely love her fabrics. So this is the little tank top and I did make a couple of alterations to this one. I cropped it because it was made to be really long so that it could tuck in, but it just didn't fit me very well at that long length. So I decided to crop it a little bit. And then I also added these shoulder ruffles, which I think just give it some nice detailing. So I really like how that turned out. And then the next piece in the set is this pair of shorts, which I absolutely love. They're actually a little bit wrinkled right now because I recently washed them, so I need to give them a good iron. But I think these are so cute. They have a pleating detail in the front as well as darts in the back that give them a really nice fit. And then this button here on the side, which I think is so cute and coordinates with the buttons on the top. And then the last piece in this vintage set is this amazing, super full midi skirt. It has these patch pockets here on the front and then it buttons up the front, which I think is so adorable. I just love this skirt. The pattern pieces for this were absolutely massive and I actually ended up not even using the full width that the pieces were supposed to be because I didn't have enough fabric for that. And it still turned out to be such a pretty full skirt. So I'm really happy with this one. And then the last four pieces that I made this summer are all dresses. Let me go over those. This first one is such a fun one. I love this blue fabric. This fabric is from Joanne Fabrics and it's a really flowy rayon material that has this nice kind of crepey texture to it. This dress is made from McCall's Patterns number 8108 and I did make a couple of alterations to it which I detailed in the video on this dress. It has this cute little hem ruffle and then a square neckline and an empire waist. And I was kind of inspired by the dresses from Selkie for this dress, but I wanted to make something that was a little bit more wearable. And I think this is perfect. I ran into some fit issues with this pattern, but I was able to make it work and I really love how it turned out. A few of you commented on this video and said the dress reminds you of Wendy from Peter Pan and I love that reference. So maybe I'll use it for a Halloween costume sometime. This next dress might be my favorite one from this summer. This is from McCall's Patterns number 8177. And the fabric is this beautiful blue hydrangea print fabric from Rifle Paper Company. It's a cotton lawn and it's so soft and light and beautiful. And this has these amazing long puffy sleeves with a little drawstring detail along with a square neckline, princess seams, side pockets. And I just think it is such a fun little dress and I love wearing this one. I'm really happy with how this one turned out. Now this next dress is the only one that I haven't made a video about and this is Simplicity Patterns number 9326. I absolutely love this fabric. This fabric is a silk fabric from Zimmerman that I got on Mood Fabrics. And I just think it is so beautiful and floaty. The reason I decided not to make a video about this dress is because I was just following the pattern as was written and I think it is such a lovely pattern. I really like the fit of this one. It has this adorable square neckline with the ruffle detail along the entire neckline front and back. And I think it works really well with this floaty silk fabric. I lined it in some satin that I just had in my fabric stash and I think it turned out so pretty. My goal with this dress was to make something that would work really well for like a wedding guest outfit or something like that. And I think it is just lovely. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. 
And then last up is this linen dress, which is probably one of my favorite makes of the entire year so far. I just think it is so lovely. So for this dress, I actually made my own design and I shared how I did that in a video tutorial. So if you want to make your own, that is all in that video. But I absolutely love how this one turned out. It has this shirred bodice here. So very nice and stretchy and comfortable. And then these super fun double puffed sleeves here with this drawstring. I was very into the drawstring sleeves this summer, I think. But the skirt is really long and has this ruffle detail at the hem, which I think is really pretty. And I love how it turned out. This fabric is again a linen fabric from Merely Susan and I love the green color with the delicate floral pattern. I just think it's really beautiful and it was a really fun project to work on. So those are all the handmade pieces that I've added to my wardrobe this summer. No knitting projects got finished this summer but I will have more of that coming up in the fall. I just have a hard time feeling like knitting when it's hot outside I think so I'm getting back into it now that the weather's starting to cool off just a little bit. But I hope you guys have enjoyed keeping up with my projects over the past few months. I've had so much fun putting these videos together and I hope you've enjoyed them as well. And if you want to check out any of these specific projects, again, those videos will be linked in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out here on my channel today. I am so excited to get into some fall projects. I will have my fall sewing plans up in the next couple of days, so I hope you guys will look forward to that. If you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet and you would like to, you can go ahead and do that by clicking the red button down below and I would really, really appreciate it. We are approaching 30,000 subscribers, which just absolutely blows my mind. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for subscribing and hanging out here on my channel. It really means so much to me and I appreciate all of you guys taking the time to keep up with my sewing projects. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If you would like to keep up with me outside of YouTube, TikTok and Instagram are my two favorite social medias. So both of those will be linked down below in case you want to check them out. Thank you guys again for hanging out here on my channel today and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.